Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Lab Skills. My name is Graham. Today we're going over how to read a Veronier caliper. Now, a Veronier caliper is great because it allows you to take a measurement of the physical dimensions of an object with a little more precision than you could achieve with a ruler alone. So here we see what represents a Veronier caliper. Basically, it consists of a ruler. Now, with a standard ruler, you can measure the length of an object to a certain degree of um, precision. In this case, we measure a box alone, and we can see that it's a little over 5 millimeters, 0.55 plus or minus 0 0.05 centimeters. But could we be even more precise? With the Varignier caliper, we can. And the Varignier caliper consists of the ruler, just like we used previously, but it also has a Varignier scale. Now, the Varignier scale is arranged so that it can slide down the length of the ruler, um, and it sort of creates a clamping mechanism. When closed, the ruler zero and the Varignier scale zero align. Note that the Varignier scale is finer than that of the ruler. So the tenth increment on the Varignier scale aligns with the ninth increment on the ruler. So as we slide the Varignier scale across the ruler from zero millimeters toward one millimeter, the Varignier increments sequentially align with the ruler increments. In this example, we have a small gap on the caliper, perhaps the width of a hair. We notice that the Varignier scale's second increment aligns with the 2 millimeter mark on the ruler above. So our measurement is 0 0.20 plus or minus 0 0.05 millimeters. Next, we slide the Varignier a little further along for a slightly larger object. We can see now that the 5 millimeter mark on the ruler aligns with the fifth notch on the Varignier scale. So our measurement here is 0 0.50 plus or minus 0 0.05 millimeters. Increasing the caliper gap a little more, we can see now that the eighth notch on the Vernier scale aligns with the 8mm mark on the ruler above. So in this case, it's 0 0.80 plus or minus 0.05mm. Finally, we can just spread the gap to 1mm, so it's 1.00 plus or minus 0.05mm. So step back and think about it. With the ruler alone, we could measure to within 0.5mm, that is half a millimeter. But with the caliper, we see that we're actually measuring to, with, to 0 0.05 millimeters. We've got much greater precision. So now you try one. We'll randomly adjust the caliper. Now you can see that the caliper, the gap is slightly larger than 3 millimeters. We also notice that the third notch on the Vernier scale aligns with a millimeter marking on the ruler. So our measurement is 3.30 plus or minus 0 0.05 millimeters. So let's return to our widget from earlier. Recall that using the ruler alone, we measured 0 0.55 plus or minus 0 0.05 centimeters. Now with the Vernier caliper, we can see that the widget is slightly larger than 5 millimeters, and the sixth notch on the Vernier scale aligns with a millimeter marking above. So our new measurement is 5.60 plus or minus 0 0.05 millimeters. So we can see that the Vernier caliper is more precise. With the ruler alone, we measured 0 0.55 centimeters, with the Varignier caliper, we actually measure 0 0.560 centimeters. We've added a decimal point of precision. For our last example, we'll try something a little larger. Here we can see that the length of the object is slightly greater than 1.2 millimeters, and we can see that the seventh notch on the Varignier scale aligns with the millimeter marking above. So from there, you can do the math. So we can take away from this that a Varignier caliper isn't as intimidating as it might seem. It's actually quite simple to read, it's more precise than a ruler alone, which is important, and it's a very useful tool. Thanks for watching the video.